there we go. So um, this kind of leads right into my next question, which was going to be um, about the recruiting rules and situation uh, in California in particular, of course, the whole country deals with the issue. Uh, some people think it's a problem, uh, especially with non-public schools. Um, what's your definition of recruiting, and is it, do you think it's a problem in California? Well, I, you know, I think there's different definitions, like you said, of recruiting. And people sometimes think recruiting is giving a shoe, giving someone uh, free tuition, giving them something. In CIF, recruiting is any undue influence. So if I go talk to a player that attends Shasta High School, and I talk to him about if he came to my school, I could help him get into college. That's recruiting. Right. If I coach an AAU team, and he plays on that AAU team as an eighth grader, and then comes to Liberty, then that's recruiting. What many people are mistaken is if a, if a student like uh, Tyler Green comes to Liberty and then goes to Enterprise, I don't naturally just assume that Mike Hayworth recruited him. Right. And Mike and I go out to lunch, we talk about it, he says we've had no contact with this kid, so I don't take that as a kid being recruited. Now, if you ask the people at our school, <laughs> they have a whole lot of different thoughts on it, but I, I don't think any guys in our, in our area are out actively offering kids things do I think there's meetings going on behind where people say, oh, you know, we would sure love to have you, stuff like that, I'm sure. But mm -hmm. my, my thing is, if I offer a good program here, the kids will stay. Now, we've lost kids for reasons outside of basketball, mm -hmm. and that's what hurts when kids leave because, you know, there's not enough girls or they want to go to parties. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Then they, they shouldn't be here, so it all works itself out. Yeah, and that's... Um the outside the basketball I've always thought if there's a good basketball program parents are going to want their kids to go there and kids are going to want to go there and that's not recruiting you know that's just offering a good program but if you have other factors outside the the program that's uh, kind of a difficult and that's that's too bad AAU is kind of an ugly beast because there's a lot of influence that's going on in AAU and I got out of the AU business. Um, I used to have the five teams, mm -hmm. but it just got to be it got to be too hard. Now we might end up going back and having some fifth and sixth grade teams, which CIF says, you know, you can talk to fifth and sixth graders once they have a they have a twenty four month rule now that you can't have any contact with someone who's in the seventh or eighth grade. So mm -hmm. at some point we might start back up and do fifth and sixth grade, um, just to help kids out and meet people. But yeah. No. The international students that we get is what people always assume Liberty's recruiting international students. Mm -hmm. and, and again, I appreciate the coaches that come by and say, Todd, how are these kids coming? And so we show them the program that we have. We've got the largest ESL program, English Second Language. Um, we're very active uh, in getting international students, honestly, awesome. to keep the school open. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have 35% of our high school is international students. Wow. Only four of those kids play basketball. I didn't Most know of them that. soccer players, so it's a reality. Huh. Uh, you know, North Valley closed their doors. Uh, uh -huh. You know, they just couldn't afford to stay open. Bishop Quinn closed their doors. So right. the reality is we need international students to stay open. Wow. And you're able to do that through contacts uh, or the school? The yeah, the school has, school has different agencies that send students. I'm not allowed to have any contact with them uh, until they've actually enrolled at Liberty. Wow. And then... Um, but yeah, people think I have a catalog, and I, if I want a big man, I just flip through it and I find a big man, but that is not the truth. <laughs> Go to other countries and... Yeah, no, there's, there's been rumors that I fly around on my private jet, and, <laughs> and, uh, but a lot of those people are just, people are going to hate, no matter if you're successful, they're going to hate you, but, you know, yeah. the guys, you know, like Mike Hayworth, we became good friends, because he came over and said, hey, how's this happening? And then once you sit down and realize, you know, we don't have open enrollment, so we can select and we can turn away kids, whereas some public schools, they cannot. They have, you know, open enrollment policies. Right, right. That is Private a big difference. Private schools where most of the international students go. I see.